I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's fine, we can deal with this, just... Christ, it hurts. Fuck, I'm sorry. Right, this is bad. I know this is bad, but we're still here. You're still breathing. All our stuff, they just took it. Okay, just hold fire for a second. Let me stop this bleeding. There will be sheets in here we can rip up to dress the wounds. Maybe there's some painkillers. Okay, so, uh, welcome to Project Zomboid. This is an independently created game by Indie Stone Productions. Pretty much one guy made it. Um, it's a pre-alpha tech demo of a Java-based zombie survival game, and it needs way more recognition than it's got. Uh, I found out about this a few days ago, and wow. Like, I've been playing it pretty much non-stop. And, you know, there's a lot of haters who are all like, oh, derp a derp indie independent game, Minecraft clone, whatever, whatever. This is not... Here, here, take one of these. I'm sorry I fucked up, hon. I screwed everything. <laughs> she probably did. Screwed us. You are fine, we're fine. We're just gonna have to hole up here for a while. I can see a shed in the yard. Might have some tools, some wood. This place will be a fortress. Third fortress this week. Don't be long. Please don't be long. <laughs> long. Anyways, <clears throat> this game needs a lot more recognition than it's got. It's pretty amazing. Um, I mean, even as a tech demo, I, I've only encountered a handful of bugs, and um, even then, I mean, it's, it's, it's a pre-alpha, so I mean, you'd expect there to be bugs, but this is very well written and very well um, produced. Like, uh, I think Nick Cohen is the guy who makes it, and uh, he's pretty much the sole proprietor of Indie Stone, and uh, he does pretty much everything, uh, as far as I know. Um, links will be in the description. You can't straight up purchase this game, unfortunately. Um, pretty much, you can't, you know, really sell a half-made product. Not even half-made, it's like just a tiny bit made. But, um, you can, um, buy one of his previous games. Yeah. And let me get this. You gotta have the hammer equipped to put boards up. Um, and then you will get a, uh, a beta code, or alpha code, really, to play this game. Now it is browser based, uh, it's a Java game, so it's like Minecraft where you'll get constant updates to it, so pretty awesome, pretty pretty amazing that you know this one guy is doing all this. Um, so I mean if you are going to pirate it, uh, just please don't pirate it, uh, the, the browser version, because that literally will be like taking his money out of his pocket, because you know, server costs and stuff. Um, but pretty much anybody who's going to pirate this game is going to want to, you know, actually buy it. So, uh, I'm not going to condone pirating, but if you really want to try it, you know, there are ways to get it. I'm not going to say how, but get it, try it, and then you'll enjoy it and, you know, just freaking buy it, you know? It's only like five pounds. It's like, what, eight dollars American? Okay, we're safe. My hero! Glad to see some of the sense of humor is back. Hero, fine. Without you, we'd be cold, dead, and roaming the streets. And limping. That too. I need to go find supplies. It's gonna be dark soon, hun. I don't see any neighbors till they've taken chunks from you. We'll sleep hungry. And then we go to sleep. <sighs> That's Kate, by the way. She's, I guess, your wife? I don't know. She's pretty much the tutorial. 
kind of take care of her a little bit. I actually haven't managed to survive long enough in my test runs to get her up and running, so I don't even know if it's possible. So, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. Uh, the responses on the forums from the creator are amazingly fast. Like, if you throw up a bug report, or if you have a question that's not answered on the fact, I actually saw one thread where it took two minutes for him to respond. So, great support, great company. Uh, I mean, uh, this is gonna... It's, it, it, I've already purchased it. So, I mean, I'm not, you know, worried about day one purchase or whatever, but, you know, it should definitely be... I miss the days when we didn't take a hammer to bed. Time to go out and see what I can see. If you see one of them, just run. No man stuff. No man stuff? What? Just bring back food. We're not running anymore, sweetheart. Alright. Alright, so we're just going to leave my wife alone. And uh, the way you un unbarricade doors, you got to use the hammer on it. You lose that wood and the nail, so kind of a waste, but... You know, sometimes you gotta do it. So we're gonna go next door. Um, right over here. Counter our first zombie, probably. Now, the thing about zombies is they do roam. So, I mean, it's random. So you could, in theory, start off the tutorial and suddenly have like a horde of zombies around you. Let's see, is there a zombie here? Hello? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, mother. Okay, got him. It's kind of like the battle music that's playing right now. Let's see, is there anything? Uh, more soup? Cool. That and that. that's in there. Is there anything in the fridge? Let's get some carrots. I'm going to eat that. And an apple. I'm going to eat that. Cool. And uh, all these little... I think he calls them moggles? Uh, they're sort of like the sims where they like tell you what your character needs. Like health, food... Um, if he's in pain, you know, stuff like that. It's it's pretty pretty descriptive for just like a little blinky thing. So, return to safe house kitchen. We got soup. Think you can manage that? The kids are pretty beat up, but I think I remember. Okay, so let me check. There's nothing in here. All right, so to craft. You open up your inventory and you push that button right here, the hammer and nails. To make soup, you need a can opener, cans, and a soup bowl. Then you get soup. And I don't have another soup bowl, so I can't make any more. So we close that. Put soup in the oven and turn oven on. Off. Put the soup in there. Right there, on. Honey, it's working! This piece of shit radio picks something up. D6, Knox County Army Camps. Basically gibberish. Um, don't leave the soup on. It will burn the house down, by the way. Just a little tip. Relative citizens. If they don't return home, they will be forcibly dispersed. The president has released a statement asking for calm and patience. But key Republicans have been quick to attack their calling a do nothing agenda. With the communication blackout, no fly zone firmly in place. There is still no clue as to the nature of the outbreak. Pictures released by U.S. forces, however, show crowded streets. Suggesting that, despite it all, the townsfolk of Mulderall are living as normal. <laughs> They're not. Weird. Alright. See, there's another scripted event that's about to happen. Um, see that door open down there? Essentially, one of the neighbors, uh, this dude with a shotgun, heard the radio. And, you know, spoilers alert, whatever. He will come up the stairs and shoot Kate 
So basically you have to wait until he goes to the door and you can sneak it behind him and he'll whack him with the hammer and steal a shotgun. So I'm going to do that. Oh, there he goes. Howdy, neighbor. Who the hell are you? About to get killed with the f hammer. Jesus, sweetheart. I never thought I'd be so glad to see the inside of a guy's head. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. I thought we were finished. I love you, you know. Even better. Now I have a shotgun. God damn, but you're an idiot. Get back to surviving. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's see what we picked up. We picked up a shotgun, which weighs 25 pounds. There's a weight meter here. I'm 89 of 300 right now. The more weight you carry, the slower you are. Let's see. Soup? Uh, let's eat the soup. Because it raises our... Uh, whenever you have a boosted um, food, you heal faster and you have a strength boost. Now, we have something pretty cool. We've got a bat. Now, what we can do is we can put a bat, some nails, and a hammer. And then you get a spiked bat which is way better than a normal bat. And uh, let me just go ahead and make some more soup. Now, you can make quite a bit of... Um, okay, let me eat more. Fed, healing and strength boost. You can uh, make heated soup. I have yet to really um, do that efficiently yet, so I don't really know. But let's look, check on Kate. She's got a broken leg, which is bandaged and bleeding badly. Now, uh, if we sleep in here for a while, she'll actually heal over time. Thing is, is that after a little while, a big giant horde of zombies will show up. So, let's see, it's 6 in the evening. It's still decently safe to run out. So, let me try and get to a place where we can, or at least find a little bit more food. Well, we already checked this house right here, so let's go next door and see if we can find anything else. Now we want to do this before nighttime ends, or nighttime starts. It's just getting pretty dark right now, so let's close this. Anything in here? No. Oh, there's a guy in here. Get out. Ow. No, get away. There we go. Anything in here? That's just an empty bathroom. It doesn't even have a toilet or anything. Is there anything in here? No. I don't know if I can hear them beating on the front door. Let's pick up this stuff that's in here. I got some bread, some crisps. Moldy bread. Now, I have yet to really eat moldy food, but I'm fairly sure you can. You just have a chance of getting sick, which, uh, when you're nauseous or whatever, it'll. Oh, I got another bat on that. It'll lower your stamina and stuff, so I'm not gonna try it. I need a pencil. Bread. Batteries power flashlights. Ooh, dish rag. Dish rags are used for Molotovs. Batteries power flashlights, which are great. Oh, hey, a shotgun. I just need the shells. However, um, they cause quite a bit of light, which attracts zombies. Alright, anything in the fridge? Yeah, I got some steak, some bread. Now, I got. I'm gonna take the rotten stuff and just stick it somewhere, and just in case it's like a last resort type food, you know? Now, can I get out the back door without the zombies getting me? Yes, okay. They're probably grouped up here by the front door. See? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Goodness, how am I going to get past through this? I might have to use the shotgun. Let me just equip that. Now, I want them in a big group because that's what the shotgun's good at. Ah, go away. Now, I don't know if the weapons do a particular damage, or if it's just a percent chance to hit. I haven't really tested it out. I, I didn't really notice a zombies have this many hit points, or they take so X many hits. So, don't know. See, I'm tired and drowsy. And the, the, tired, the more tired you are, the less spatial awareness you have, which means like your line of sight goes down. Alright, so I need a barricade, so I'm going to take my hammer, and what you can do with your hammer is you can actually beat down doors. It takes a few clicks, but uh, you get a little bit of wood, and you can use that wood to make a better barricade. So pretty much um, the front door of my house is not barricaded, which I kind of want to barricade. Because uh, the zombies will have heard that noise, and they'll be attracted to it, and 
any zombies that saw me. Yeah, see, I can hear him beating on the door. Just could do this. Um, barricades last quite a long time. Uh, I mean, I haven't tested to see whether or not barricades can be taken down while you're sleeping. I do know the game essentially just fast forwards. So, let's see, where's my hold? Right here, just board that up. See, the barricade's 30 of 30 and uh, 5 of 5 at the door, so it'll last quite a long time. And just to be sure... Still there, honey? Okay. Board that up. And then, uh, see, now she's just broken, bandaged, and bleeding. She's not bleeding badly. So, let's go to sleep. Yes, I went to sleep. Getting a little hungry. I still hear him trying to beat down the door. See? I think it's fast forwarding while I'm sleeping in real time because it knows it's possible for them to break down. Oops, I pushed my mic away. Um, I think it's fast forwarding in real time because it no or not super fast time because it knows that it's possible for them to break down the door. But we'll we'll check. So are they beating down this door? No. Want we'll to eat some food? Let's see, we've got. Whiskey bottles, a lighter, some nails. That's 65 shotgun shells, that's quite a bit. Let's eat some crisps. And some of these. And let's see, I am very well fed. What about you, Kate? Can I feed you? Nope, can't feed her. <sighs> let's see, get some. Let's see what we got in here. We got pillows. Let's take this pillow out. Take it out. Let's put the pillows like in the desk thing right over here because it's kind of in the way. Alright. Well, the barricade's still up down there. They haven't broken it down yet. Is there a window here? No. I was weird. I wonder how I saw the zombie. Anyways, so we've got 126 of 330, so let's, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Mm, don't need all this whiskey. Let's see. Don't need the canned soup right now. Bread's good. Put that bread away. I think you can control click, yeah, to drop it all. Uh, let's see. Don't need these apples. Don't need this pot of soup just yet. I'll keep the crisps on me. I'll drop the steak. And then the next to this is going to be the, the crappy food thing. Put the moldy bread there. Just put the rotten apple there. Just put the rotten steak there. Let's see. So now all we got on us is bandages, which weigh quite a bit. Let me just drop most of those off of there. Just keep, like, two on me, just in case I get hit. Don't need the dish rag. Don't need the battery yet. And let's see. We'll kind of stick it here. Um, we should probably keep the hammer and nails. Don't need the can opener. Really don't need the lighter. Just at least not right now. That seems like a pretty good loadout. Alright, so I'm going to use my bat as my weapon of choice. Let's see, it's 2 o'clock. Okay, we got plenty of time. Make sure there's no zombies. Oh, okay. Alright, Kate. I'll be back. Let's see, there's... Wow, I hear a lot of them. We might be getting swarmed. Huh. Well, how about this? Equip my shotgun and then use my hammer to take down the barricade. Open the door, and shoot him. Well, 
that's a lot of a lot of zombies. Uh, we might be getting sieged. Now, if this door breaks, that's bad. Because if it breaks, then we can't rebuild it. I mean, to get wood. I, oh, oh. Ow, I got hit. I got hit. Let me check. Minor pain. Uh, nothing. I guess I just kind of got swiped or something. No one out here? Alright. No, I don't think I have any loose wood. No, I don't. So I might need to use my hammer to break this door down. left, so I really need to be picky about where I put my barricades. Just trying to keep an eye on that door, because I don't want it to lose any health, because there's no way to repair it. Uh-oh, they knocked the barricade off my back door. That could be bad. Oh, they broke it down. Oh, Jesus. Alright, well, at least I got a piece of wood. Ah. Wait for me. Kate, honey, um, I got something to tell you. <laughs> I kinda didn't make friends with the neighbors. Is there anything? Am I hurt? I got a neck. I'm scratched on the neck. Oh, that's not good. Bandaged now, so hopefully it doesn't kill me or infect me in any way. Well, if I'm going down, I'm going down blaze of glory. Eating soup. Getting well fed. Okay, and let me check my weapons. Okay. They're right at my door. Like, they're going to break in soon. I wonder if I can sleep. I'm gonna sleep so I can do this during the daytime. Well, hopefully this tooltip will go away. many of them outside that door. Like, I highly doubt I can make it. I'm in pain. I guess that woke me up. Well fed. Man. Not tired enough to sleep. I guess if it comes down to it, I could always just hide in here <laughs> and let Kate get eaten. Uh, I do have one pair of nails left. And I do have one piece of wood. Well, Kate, <laughs> uh, if I had another pair of set of nails, I could make a small barricade, which actually goes into a tile, but I don't have any extra nails. So, honey, I'm sorry. I might have to euthanize you. I'm still in pain. Am I bandaged? 
I guess getting bit in the neck or scratched in the neck really hurts. Makes sense. So my secondary is my bat. Now I don't know if there's not a switch to secondary button or use secondary button, so I can't just switch to my bat, but I'll have to, you know, manually do it. Well, anyways, as we wait for these zombies to break in, um, independent game uh, made by one person, basically. Um, great community, great support. Highly recommend it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, for their website. Uh, also their forums. Uh, yeah, so... I'm still hurting. So, if you like it, if you like what you see, uh, go go purchase one of the other guys, the guys other games. Um, helps him out, helps development costs, helps server costs. So it is a Java-based browser game. It's sort of like Minecraft, how they, how they update. I don't know if he plans on having a launcher where you can launch the program and have it up, 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 by, up, up date by itself. Uh, but otherwise, pretty cool game. It's going to have tons of updates, traps, new weapons, uh, other survivors. So uh, there's going to be tons of content. Um, this is Java based and relatively simple. Um, it will be easy for the guy to code. Uh, new stuff into the game. Kind of like how Minecraft was supposed to be easy to be code and they were supposed to have tons of content. Anyways, um, <coughs> not knocking Minecraft because the new content update was kind of okay. But, you know, it. Great game, great alpha. I mean, it's not supposed to be hours and hours and hours of gameplay. It's mostly just kind of surviving for a little while and kind of seeing what it's like. But, um,. Pretty cool otherwise. Oh god, they knocked down the barrier. There goes the door's health. Um, oh, I'm gonna get swarmed. Uh, check out the alpha. Tons of fun. You won't regret it. Get away from my wife! Survived. Okay, Kate. Oh, jeez. No. Oh. Ow, I'm pretty hurt. Damn zombies. We're still good. We're still good, Kate. We're still okay. I'm take some painkillers. Where am I hurt? Alright, bandage that. Grab some more band-aids out of here. I know what they're beating on, like the windows or something? There really isn't anything preventing him from getting in. And they are attracted to sound, so... <laughs> they definitely heard the shotgun blast. Okay. So... A hit in the hand, which is moderate. Healing, bandaged. Okay, alright, we're still good. We're okay. Any zombies out here? Get up there. No. 
bleeding now. Kate, are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Zombies everywhere. Bandage, bandage, bandage it, bandage it. Okay, okay. Now I'm just hurt really badly. Gotta make take the pain away. Oof. Kate, why can't you like swing a hammer or something? Why can't you help? Right now I'm hungry. Getting a little peckish after killing all these zombies. Alright, I'm fully healed. I'm fully fed. How many shotgun shells do I have? I have six shotgun shells left. Oh goodness. You gonna come in, Mr. Zombie? Come in. You can get my wife over my dead body! Which is probably gonna happen, but. Ugh. my arm come on I guess I can't banish that hopefully I don't get infected that'd be pretty crappy My god, no. I shot Kate. Oops. Um. Um. Uh. <laughs> Welp. Uh. Yeah, well, that's pretty much the tutorial. I was intending to save her, or at least try to. So I guess I can go get killed now. Ow, blood, blood everywhere. Not a shotgun shells. Come at me! Come at me, you freaks! Damn, I just realized all my food's like... ...in that house. Come at me, freaks! I'm bleeding, and I'm tired, and I'm dying. But you made me kill my- okay, I'm dead. I survived for three days and three hours. <laughs> oh, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, post me some comments if you want to do some strategies or whatever. Uh, also, post if you've got a cool story or post a uh, response video if you get the game yourself and you got fraps and you can record your own little video. Uh, just let me know how y'all did. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.